I'll just quickly show you how you can install Google Analytics 4 into your WordPress website. There's actually two ways and there's an easy way where you have your website and you just add Google Analytics 4 directly into it. There's also a difficult way and I'll show you that afterwards. So let's for the example say that I want to add this website. This is a website where I collect knowledge and education for other vets and I want to add Google Analytics 4 to that. So I go to Google Analytics, of course, I press admin and I will end up here with this screen. So I have my account, I have my property and I want to add a new one. The property name is going to be the name of the website. I click next and Google wants me to add some details. Let's say that's education. Next. I just pick the first one, create. And I want to track web traffic and then I add in the URL of my uh, website and I give it a name. I just give it the website's name. You can give it whatever name you like. And then you're getting this measurement ID. In the old days, we were given a script that you couldn't copy and paste into your website and that was it. We don't get that script anymore, but it still works. So if you go to my website and link is on the screen, you will find the old Google Ana Analytics, the universal Google Analytics code that actually still work. So I copy that one. I then log in to my WordPress dis dashboard and go to appearances and theme file editor. Some themes will not have this option and you would need to go into your hosting account and open up the file editor there so you can get access to the file that is called header PHP. In this case it's right here so just click that one and we need to add the script code in between the two header tags so they start here and they end here. So I just put it in the script code I copied. So you would notice that it has some X's here. And this is where I need to add the measurement ID that we got here. So I'll just copy that one, go back to my theme editor and paste it in there and here again. I click update file and then we're good to go. So if I go to the front page and I just refresh to pull in the code and we can go back here. So I can close all of this down. And we see now that I have one, one visitor from Denmark. And that's basically it. That's all you need to do in order to install Google Analytics 4 onto your WordPress website. So I mentioned there was a more difficult way to do this. And you might ask, why would you ever do it more difficult than when it's this easy to, to do? And that's Google for you. But there is actually a good reason to do that. So what Google will have you to do instead, instead of adding Google Analytics 4 as we did directly into the website, they would like us to add what is called Google Tag Manager and they will have us add that directly into the website. And when we've done that, we add Google Analytics 4 into Google Tag Manager. That usually slows things down. If you have a small blog and all you want to do is track your visitors, the first, options, the first option is sufficient for you. If you have a larger website or if you want to expand into e-commerce or something else, you might need a pixel from uh, Facebook, let's say pixel. And you might also need some other tracking. 
here, like that. And instead of adding all of these things individually, you can add them into the track tag manager and then just have the tag manager on your website. In that case, that option will be faster. For most of us, having small blocks, this is not necessary. And you can quite easily change this later on if you need to. But I'll just quickly show you how this is done as well. So what I need is to find Google Tag Manager. It's here. I've been here before, so there's other websites in here, but what you need to do is create an account. An account is a sort of a, a collection of different projects. So in this case, I will call my account uh, websites and blogs. I'm in Denmark. And then inside that account, I would need a container. And that's the container that contains all the tracking codes from all of the other places. So in this case, let's just call it knowledgevet.com. And this is for web traffic. I hit create and I just say yes to the terms of service. And then we are met with this code that we need to paste in. So this needs to go after the header. So I go back to my theme. And if you do this, you wouldn't have the, the code we pasted before. So I will do, do it like this. So it all, already, when you do it like this, this already have your Google Tag Manager code in it because this a script code is made specifically for you. But you also need to add one more thing. You need to add this in the body of your text as well. So I'll copy that. And the body starts here. And I'll add the code there. I press update file. But that's not all you need to do because now you have Google Tag Manager on your website, but you don't have Google Analytics 4 in your Google Tag Manager yet. So let's do that now. Press OK. So I'll create a new tag, and you'll create a new tag for every single of your tra tagging code, tracking codes that you would need to add. In this case, I will add the Google Analytics 4 configuration. And then it needs my measurement ID. So we need to go back and find it here. I find it under admin. And we have data streams. I click here and then the tracking code is there. So I go to Google Tag Manager and add that in. So Google Tag Manager also needs what's called a trigger. This is to tell the tracking code when to fire. So I click on trigger and I want it to go on all pages because I want to track the traffic on all pages. And now everything is set up. I need to give it a name. The name I gave it there was just what it suggested. And this is so when you add and you make changes, it will keep a running log for you here. So if you write uh, what you actually done, you can go back and see when things were changed. And then I end by clicking submit. I need again to give it a version name. Let's call it version one and hit publish. Let's go back to the website and hit refresh. And if we look at our Google Analytics, this is number one from uh, before. This will take, as I said, a little more time. Usually within the first 20 to 30 minutes, uh, the traffic will show up here. If it doesn't, 
you need to go back and check if the measurement ID was correct and if your Google Tag Manager code was set up correctly. So I just waited for a couple of minutes. In this case, it was only like uh, one or two minutes and we can see that the traffic is going through here. So everything is set up correctly here. I have a complete playlist of things that you need to know as a blogger in Google Analytics 4. And please let me know in the comment section what you would like a guide for next. Till next time, take care.